हेलो गुड इवनिंग सर नमस्ते नमस्ते जय श्री राम जय श्री राम आई एम ए पर्सन हु बिलीव्स दैट वी हैव टू अपहोल्ड द वेदास इफ वी वांट टू यू नो सस्टेन द करंट सिनेरियोस एंड the to uphold the sanatana dharma mm. uh but my question is in the current scenario where we do not indulge in the varna profession from which varna we are coming in mm. uh and where i don't see any v1 group uh has any interest in learning vedas mm. should that be open to learning vedas should it question. be opening to everybody Very who is interested or it should be only hereditary okay. and also extending this question to intercaste marriage where we we right. talk about pitru devatas and right. their alignment everything this is my question right. i am a person who completely believe that we need to withhold vedas right right and we have to uphold gayatri mantra Understood. that is protects the vedas Understood. yes yeah this is my question yeah. sir oh, so the interesting part is at least since the explosion of the internet and information on the internet i haven't seen anybody stopping anybody from learning the vedas and still it so happens that only a particular group sh- seems to be showing interest in learning the vedas without any social incentive economic incentive in fact there is a greater social disincentive to learning the vedas openly right so this this false narrative needs to be busted there are certain people sitting on twitter who call themselves coming from the hindu right and who subscribe to these kind of false notions effectively on these topics they are no different from the left and the marxists both of them say the very same thing conveniently each of them has their own justifications for coming after the brahmin i would say at least i will respect the leftists in that particular sense because i know he is an open enemy these are people sitting inside within the camp and still constantly bash brahmins these are the people who must be gone after first i'm saying this bluntly whoever they may be second you know one of the things about our way of life is assume for a moment that v2 v3 and v4 where to start the pursuit of the veda are you really telling me that the brahmin today has the political muscle or other muscle to stop them from doing so no no they don't at least hereditary brahmins don't vaidik brahmins are a micro minority they don't right the argument to be made when it comes to this and this is exactly what is different from us i mean let's say uh, between us and others is that we say you disagree with a particular system don't change that institution you set up a parallel universe okay arya samaj for all practical purposes says does and believes a lot of things which let's say vaidika brahmins may or may not agree with i am not passing a value judgment i'm i'm giving a statement of fact right now what do you ultimately leave it to if you are able to find traction and if you can convince people that you are the right way go ahead do it you don't change me you don't change my institution so someone wants to do this i'd say go set up temples which are non agamic in that particular sense but those temples which are based on shastras and agamas cannot be interfered with because you cannot interfere with the agama under any circumstances i will not stop the construction of non agamic institutions and temples because there are arya samaj mandirs which do not subscribe to agamas you come to punjab you come to delhi there are in fact most weddings are arya samaj weddings for god sakes abhishek bachan married aishwarya rai in an arya samaj wedding i wasn't invited i know but i'm telling you this now who is stopping them do you know that these days arya samaj weddings are being officiated by female priestesses wearing the janeu is anybody going after them and stopping them nobody is doing that because as i said sharia demands compliance we basically say this is what i recommend you want to do do if you don't ni karma ante right if there is meant to be a consequence for what you have done it will have i am nobody to interfere with it i am only saying 
don't bring your reformist nonsense into my institution and ask me to divorce my allegiance to the Agama. That's all I'm asking for. Right? Now, frankly, after having interacted with the Vaidika community in several parts of the country, I am not hopeless. I have nothing but admiration for the circumstances and the conditions that they work in. Unbelievable. Someone I know very closely, three generations ago, no, two generations ago, were in secular professions under the guidance and instructions of Mahabharivar Sri Chandrasekhar Saraswati, they gave up the secular professions altogether. And they said, all of us will pursue the pursuit of Veda. We will run a Goshala. We will educate ourselves in this so-called modern English education through open universities, so that the better part of our time is spent in mastering the Vedas. And I said this on a podcast recently. Eight-year-old was teaching a 10-year-old, a 10-year-old was teaching a 13-year-old, a 13-year-old was being uh, taught by a 15-year-old. This is how the hierarchy works there. And you know what they do? Despite the meager income that they make, they know that they'll need at least one person to carry this tradition forward. And therefore, they actually have a better TFR than educated Hindus or let's say secularized English educated Hindus. Because it is under their compulsion and their commitment to keeping the tradition alive that they say we need at least two or at least three and we need to make sure that this goes forward under any circumstances. This is how they operate. And families of 10 and 12 survive on a regular income of one person. This cunning evil snake can pursue greener pastures in California. Why is he here? Which of these V2, V3 and V4 are coming and saying, we will support you, go ahead, do this. Why? Even the anglicized Mylapur based V1, who is helping them? They are doing it on their own. Because they are living out the Gita in action. This is what I am expected to do, I will do independent of success or failure, period. Next. <laughs>